Okay, folks, it's going to be ten up a, a very popular sea trout fly called the Madison today. So first thing I want to do is add a thread to the hook. And this is a, a fly with a modern twist, so it's not going to be the exact same pattern, but it's going to have traits of it. So the original hook actually had the original fly had a painted hook, but instead we're going to be using our our male, our, well it's our, our silver braid actually, so this is holographic silver braid, so we'll tie that on as we're going down to the hook. Okay, there's no tag or rib or anything on this, we'll tie that down to where the hook starts to bend, so it's just halfway between the, the barb and the hook point. Okay, and then as we're bringing the thread back up, we make this very secure, and you'll know this by now, I always do it. Is put super glue on the thread. Okay. Just work that up the whole way up the body. Okay. And then we'll just come down the body with the, the braid then. So this braid is very durable. So that's why I don't even use a rib on it. I just use a bit of super glue to make sure it doesn't slip. And it hides bumps a lot easier than the, the flat mater as well. So I don't know how I went so long about it to be honest. Okay. Let's just tie, secure this in. The hook I'm using is a size 10 low water camison. So it's quite light wire. You can actually see the hook bend a little bit. Still a very strong hook. Okay, so the, the hackle is going to be a blue colour. So, what I do with all my hackles is I spread the fibres out and I just pinch off the tip, expose a few fibres, and tie it down and put a few fibres back on top. And that means you have the stock tied down twice. So it's very secure. I start turning the fibres to point downwards. Okay, and then just do probably say three wraps for this feather would be enough. That's one. Two and then Remove any excess early on before doing a third wrap here. Okay, and I studge that with so used to tan on doubles. That's okay, we'll just clear that excess off now. Okay, and then just brush back on him going forward. Give it a more secure hold. Okay, so you can see our fibers extending bang on to the end of the shank, which is what we're hoping for. And then for the wing, I'm going to use the original was, I think it was mallard or tail, but this time I'm going to use some black fox. This is fox dyed black. So I wanted to be quite mobile, so I want to remove the, the underfur, so I have a lot of bulk if you don't. And then I also want to remove the longer guard hairs. Just to give a nice profile there. Okay, so I want this to extend to the, the back, the rear of the hook basically. And we'll just do pinch and loop, secure that in. Okay, So 
well access. And then I'm gonna use a wee bit of super glue just for a bit of security. Help hold down the wing. Okay. Then the last thing, that's your fly complete if you want to use it like that, but then I'm going to add in some jungle hot eyes. So, this just sets off the fly really, in my opinion, but it makes it, it's probably on the head, but it makes it. Makes you think of the salmon fly as well. It helps the jungle cock in. <laughs> okay. Make sure both sides are quite level. Okay, I'll be off that. Again, I'm going to put on a bit of super glue to secure this in. Well, that. I'm going to cut this off. Put it on a gloss head. Or a floss head, sorry. So it didn't need to be finished because it was super glue. Okay, so for the head, I'm going to use glue bright number four. Really shows up over that white cloud. Slip in a few places, so I'm going to just finish with that. So I'll finish. And then that will give a wee bit of buff at the same time. I'm not sure. Madison fly? Hopefully you find that useful folks. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please free to subscribe. Until next time, thanks very much and tight lines.